All right, mates. Here's a part two film for Friday, October 27th, 2023. And uh, I tell you what, even October has been going by quickly. And this is like the first particular weekend in a while since I decided to stay a little more local. It's getting to that time of year where a lot of the campgrounds are closing down for the season and for another it actually saves a little bit of money too. <laughs> because camping, gas, any extra food, it ain't always free. Even when you're traveling lightly. But uh I'm sure this is the part that you've been looking for. When I said in my first video that I'm that I was at the Makokata Caves State Park here, you have a little glimpse. This is just the beginning of it. And most of these caves formed by means of mechanical weathering. So what I mean by that is usually through the th freeze thaw cycle of water that caused cracks to occur in the bedrock and thus eventually it led to the formation of these caves now another uh, process that much of these caves formed from or are titled they're known as solution caves. So here's an example down here. So within this bedrock there's a different array of passages. Hold on a second. I think I'm hearing a bat. Yep, I sure am. Huh. I'll just see if I can find them. Well, anyway. Much of this water has a composure of carbonic acid, which is basically the chemical composition of C2HO3. It's carbon dioxide dissolved in water. And... What essentially happens is much of this bedrock is dolomite, which is a form of limestone. And limestone is an example of a chemical sedimentary rock, which is mostly made up of different marine exoskeletons. I mean, even coral reefs are made up of limestone. So it just goes to prove that even though we're in Iowa, historically speaking, this was also under the ocean at one point because limestone only forms in marine environments. So this bedrock in particular, uh, the age range is probably about uh, four, 415 million years. So that goes back to the Silurian period. And it was during that time that most of the planet was mostly ocean. I mean, there were land masses, but not to the extent like it is today, at least historically speaking. So these solution caves, they create these networks, tunnels, and as a result, you have something like that over here. The bedrock slowly dissolves. And one of the most favorite inhabitants of these particular destinations includes bats. And just ironically yesterday I was actually I watched Batman Begins just because I haven't seen that film in a long time. And, you know, 
uh, in honor of National Park Service, it is Bat Week, which I'm going to separate that into another video just because that's a separate topic in and of itself. So, all right. Have a good one, you guys. Take care.